This is a European Robin, and I've been underestimating it my entire life. You see, some of these birds migrate from the UK to the tip of Spain and back without losing their bearing, and the way they do it is incredible. As someone who can get lost driving down a straight road, I rely heavily on technology to get me places. At the end of the road, you have reached your destination, you inadequate fool. It's literally a straight road. Seriously, what is wrong with you? Unlike me, robins are natural navigators. So much so, they've been dubbed sailors of the air. So, with the help of technology, I tracked down these aviation experts to examine them up close and personal. I spent most of the morning wandering around the woods until I found what I call the robin tree. And I call it that because I'm a genius. <clears throat> anyway, I've visited this spot several times over winter and I've often found two robins singing here. As robins begin looking for a mate in late December and pair off by January, I assume that they are a couple. That would make all the singing a territorial declaration of ownership over their new joint breeding ground. But if these birds stay in the UK over winter, when do they migrate? Well, actually, most UK robins don't migrate. The few that do are mostly females that travel to Europe in autumn in search of warmer weather. Sometimes they travel as far as southern Spain and Portugal, which distance-wise can rack up to over 1,600 kilometres. Robins from Scandinavia and Russia escape the harsh weather in their homelands by joining our UK resident birds. This all begs the question, how do they know where to go? Well, the simple answer is that robins, like many other animals, navigate via the Earth's magnetic field, which arises from the electric currents in our planet's molten core. But this isn't the interesting bit. The real mystery is how they detect the Earth's magnetic field, not least because it's so weak. Well, this weak magnetic field can change the outcome of a chemical reaction that occurs within the robin depending on which direction the robin flies. The magnetic field detecting system is built around a light sensing protein within the robin's eye called cryptochrome. Experiments have shown that when one of their eyes are covered, a robin loses its sense of direction. So, robins must see the Earth's seemingly invisible magnetic field. It's fun to imagine what the world must look like to them. When a photon of light hits a cryptochrome protein, an electron can be ejected from one molecule and end up joining another, creating a duo of free radical molecules, each with an odd number of electrons. Because these radicals were created at the same time, their fates are delicately linked, or entangled. All it means to be entangled is that these two radicals now have an influence over each other's properties. This influence exists even if the molecules become separated. The entangled radical pair are very unstable, and quickly recombine into their original composition. But while they are entangled, they change back and forth between two different chemical states. But the probability that the system will exist in one chemical state over the other is not equal. Because the entangled radicals are very unstable, they can be easily influenced by weak forces, like the Earth's magnetic field. One influence the magnetic field has is altering how much time the system will be in one chemical state over the other. The probability a radical pair will be in one state over the other is sensitive to both the angle and strength of the Earth's magnetic field. So, the direction the robin flies in changes the outcome of the reaction. 
Another way to look at this is that the amount of time the system spends in one chemical state over the other relays information to the bird about which direction it is travelling. Navigation-wise, it's theorised that one state is more likely to occur nearer the equator, and the other state is more likely nearer the poles. What's even more impressive about all this is that it happens in a matter of microseconds, which, although is incredibly quick, is also an impressively long time to maintain unstable, entangled radicals. Even scientists and the lab conditions can't keep them around that long. Yet nature, in all its chaos, has found a way. The specifics of how this system works is still under examination, but it's the strongest theory out there to explain how robins navigate. When I learnt about this, I saw robins in a whole new light, and never will I underestimate them again. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you're interested in any further reading, I've left some links in the description.